Here, O Yashura, the great I am, the great spirit, is the only power for you. The great I am, the great spirit is one. Speak peace into the ears of the people so that they could see on this day of rest. Arise, O Yashura. Welcome to Word War Three. Our reference today will be Haggai chapter 2 verse 8. And this message is entitled Reparations and Trust Law. Now to get started, the Emancipation Proclamation did not free a single slave. This is the statement circulating at the university level in the United States Department of Education. Instead of freedom, the sons of Greco-Roman culture ensures that a slave or former slave can never rule over its master. This is an ancient Roman law. Here again is one of the many things modern culture refuses to teach on a lower level. In turn, a new generation of unlearned nitwits are on the rise. And as a reminder, indigenous Hebrew Israelite awakening is not a racist religious hate group. We simply live here. Now, when I say the Romans don't allow, or Roman law does not allow for the slave to become master over themselves, um, for an example, and no disrespect to big brother Barack Obama, but his father was not a slave in this country. I want to make that point at the beginning of this discussion. His father nor his mother were descendants of slaves. So it's easy for this government to make, uh, or excuse me, elect this man as president two times um, because under Roman law, and again, the United States is under Roman law or follows and obeys Roman law, but legislation is Roman law. So that's why it was easy for them to elect them. Now, this freedom and its liberty holds an entirely different meaning in English that you were told to master where legislation, again, is made by the Latin of Romans. <laughs> Are you awakened, people? The 13th Amendment was passed or allowed by Congress on January 31st, 1865. And ratified, meaning fully recognized, on December 6th of the same year, 1865. They took a whole year to actually recognize it. Instead of recognition of the people once found as indigenous, legislators of democracy look at their current captives through the eyes of ancient Romans Latin. The heckler will claim the Bible is an outdated book but allow ancient Roman law to run rapid. How convenient. For an example, Uladu Iquino, an Igbo or Igboan or a Hebrew Negro, called himself the, the particular favorite of heaven in his uh, 18, early 1700s book. Um, actually, he's describing himself in his own book. Today, he will be known as a Ndi Igbo Jew or black Hebo Jew. He gave us an indigenous example of how people of color were found in Africa. The United States and the rest of the world went to war, a war, a world war in the 1940s to stop a tyrant who was said to be killing his own Ashkenazi or German peoples. He is known to you as Adolf Hitler. All men like him are demonized as criminals against world citizenry. A United States president by the name of John F. Kennedy, Kennedy activated the National Guard or the military to stop stateside racial injustice and their bullheaded law enforcers. 
Today, the police chiefs across the United States are saying it is the job of their officers to kill, murder, or legally execute, whatever word you want to choose, innocent blacks. My question is, where's the military in this situation? Other nations are recognizing their so-called black peoples as indigenous tribes such as the scheduled tribe or ST status. In January of eight, January 8th of 2003, the CD community or the CD people was recognized as indigenous under section 342 subsection one of the Indian constitution. And that's the Indus Valley, the East Indians, their constitution there in East Asia. Their president must respect those now placed under scheduled tribe status. Where's the United States? The Zang, the Zang rebellion of Basra in Iraq in six, or excuse me, in 869 AD. So this rebellion of Basra in Iraq was the first time Afro-blacks in Iraq were identified. They're called Abd, or slave in English. Many other black Iraqis like Jalal Faiwab, who was assassinated, are still treated unfairly in Iraq. Today, the movement of free Iraqis, also known as Ansar al-Huraya, was approved as a political party in 2008. Salem Shaaban is the leader of this Afro-Iraqi political party, all based on the inspiration of the first black president of the United States. So they're moving towards an indigenous status in Iraq. We went to war with those guys twice. Where's the United States? But what's happening in the United States itself? Black nationalism, which some of us recognize as tribal or original awareness. It is defined as a hate group by the Federal Bureau of Investigations, known as the FBI. Look up the FBI's purpose on how to handle who they call black nationals. And I'll put that in the... the uh, blocks below. You guys can look at the links. Their extremists, COINTEL Pro Black Extremists, part one of 23 on page three, the very first page. The government don't even want people of color to be aware of their indigenous past. In their report, they are determined to quote, one, expose, two, disrupt, three, misdirect, four, discredit, and five, or otherwise neutralize the activities of black nationalists and their supporters. The dummy will continue to use terms like African American or black, or even the new African descendants of slaves, ADOS, in this Romanish system. The Coinage Mint Act of April 2, 1792, statute at large, 1 stat 246, is based off the silver dollar of Spanish royalty. It was signed into law by Pres President George Washington. It will be later be it will be later removed in 1972 by President Nick, Nixon. Golden eagles, silver dollars, copper or Fujio cents are so slowly being replaced by paper money or charge cards credit. Lady Liberty, also known as Columbia, who is the goddess of war 
was on United States copper or excuse me, copper uh, coins for over 150 years. She was the image placed on the coins of the United States for 150 years. The God of the United States. It's the silver standard on April Fool's Day, the silver standard or April Fool's Day in 1873 or the Coinage Act of 1873. 17 statute at large 424 was signed by President Ulysses S. Grant. Executive Order 6102, Public Law 73-87, Statute at Large 48 Stat 337, finalized the removal of gold as a standard currency replacing it with with replacing it with fiat currencies or promissory notes as money now by no longer using gold silver or precious metals you saying that you know they're not using gold as or these precious metals as currency they're using paper money as their currency. Remember that real quick. In the next exciting fake news or professional social media event known to all as the United States democratic election process, politicians will tell their Negro voters there isn't enough money to pay the debt of slavery. That no one today is responsible for the ongoing terror we are still talking about today offering the Negro voters no remedy. Then again, tell the Negro to be counted and vote. Does that make any sense? The sad fact that many of you will believe computer-generated images of deep space before the recognition of the Negro, whose new name is African descendants of slaves, they won't recognize them as originally indigenous. <laughs> space junkies now if there's not enough money that's being made at these mint places across the United States the first in Philadelphia one in uh, Arizona one that was actually in Manila Philippines if I do recall uh, in Denver Colorado these mints you know if they can't make enough money, fiat currency, then go back to the gold that belongs to God, that belongs to the earth. Get that, those precious metals to the original indigenous people. Um, I myself, I recognize myself and my people. Just as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. told us, and just like the United Nations say anyone who is determined, determined to be who they are originally, you can register yourself with the Library of Congress. You can determine who you are by your culture. You don't need a government to identify you. You don't. You can identify yourself your indigenous culture. Um, uh, I myself, I went to the Library of Congress and I'll put that link as well down there. Uh, entitled my declaration, the Declaration of Faith in God, the Creator. The Royal Law Treaty on Ancient Indigenous Cultural Beliefs. I did that. Yeah. But I'm going to end this message by saying I am a documented conscientious objector. I am a minister of peace. And I'm also a Hebrew Israelite giving you the experience of a three times Person, victim of police brutality 
and it has not been documented because in my time they didn't have cameras on their chest they didn't have cameras back then but they do now and you guys are seeing these violations you're seeing these terrorist acts with your own eyes when you're gonna go to the voting booths and listen to these politicians tell you that none of this stuff is really happening I'm a Hebrew Israelite Hebrew Israelite out 